Well, good morning. This is a video sponsored by Nissi Optics. And what I wanted to do this morning is come back to an area that I explored with Bry Barnum, maybe last week or the week before. And there was a little waterfall, I don't know if you remember, that we looked at and it couldn't really make it work because we were kind of pushed for time. So what I want to do this time is spend a little more time on it and see if we can make something out of it. Let's go and have a look now. Now I wanted to come back to this location because I, I could see there was a shot here somewhere. But as I said before, we didn't quite have enough time to kind of work it out and see what was going to work. There's a lovely fallen tree on this side of the composition that I want to try and work in somehow. But as you can see, it's quite a confined space. So I thought this would be the perfect sort of use case scenario to test out the 15 mil lens from Nissi Optics. Because I need to be in quite close and it's a confined area, I thought this would be ideal. So I'm going to try it and see what works. As I say, there's a lovely sort of fallen tree on this side of the composition I want to work in somehow. It might be that I might have to get behind it and shoot almost through that. But as you can see, there's nothing to balance the composition on the other side. So I think I'm going to have to include quite a bit of this rock face on the right hand side of the composition to try and balance it out a little. It's all about moving around though and seeing what works and what doesn't and that's what I really didn't have time to do last time. Now the light's not great again today, we haven't got any direct light coming in here. But I'm just going to try and work with what I've got and if I can find a composition at least I know I can come back here when the light's better. So I'm basically just trying to work this scene as best as I can really. It's quite, as I said before, confined and the shape of this log goes off to the left and I'm worried about the right hand side of the frame. But what I'm finding is quite interesting using it, a manual focus lens. Because I can focus stack it really precisely. I can zoom in and, and focus on this log in the foreground area here and then I can zoom further in and uh, focus on the actual waterfall, blend them both in post there and get a really nice sharp image. I find them using this lens, really smooth focus rings, really nice and simple to use and it's such a lovely size of lens as well on the camera. It doesn't feel unbalanced at all, it's just really, really nice and compact makes it, to be honest, with this sort of scene, makes it a really nice sort of carry lens for this sort of intricate detail shot. I found a little couple of uh, shots as well as some moss down here that I'm going to try some close-up shots of as well. But yeah, I'm really enjoying using this lens. Really easy to use, nothing complicated about it. Switch the focus peaking on, it, on, on your camera because I've got it obviously for each Sony E-mount camera and you're good to go. Great. Now the other thing that I really like using this lens is how close you can get up to these intricate details. You can see how close my lens is there, not very far away at all, nice and close. And I can still pick out really sharp details and get really tack sharp results. And that's, a, that's amazing, I, I actually love that on this lens. It means not only can I get those wide shots, is though I can use this to get right in close and get some really nice detailed images as well. Loving that about this lens. getting 
quite close. What I've tried to do is, as you can see, I've put the camera almost on top of this detail of the moss down in the foreground there. So what I'm trying to do is bring that really close, close to the foreground and have the waterfall in the background. So I'm combining both of these, the abilities to get really close to the subject and the ability to get the wide shot. And I'm gonna combine both of those into one shot. So as you can see now, I found this little scene behind me. I'm gonna try and work this as well using this lens. I think it's gonna work as a 16 by nine, some sort of letterbox format. It's a bit cluttered, a little bit messy, but I'm gonna have a little play around with it and see what works. Definitely a long shot though. It's definitely more of a, either a letterbox or a panorama, something like that will work well. But I think there's definitely something here. It's always worth playing with these things. Even if you come away with nothing, at least what you've learned is what doesn't work. That's the way to look at it. It's never a waste of time. You're always gonna get something from it. Now the fantastic thing about this lens is it gets sun stars all the way from F4 all the way through. And they've got a lovely, lovely points to them, which is absolutely fantastic. However, the one thing that I have noticed if you're shooting scenes like this, you will definitely have to use the lens hood, the supplied lens hood on it. Otherwise, you'll get a bit of little, little bit of lens flare. It's not a major problem at all. It's, it just needs that little bit just to take the edge off the flare coming in from the side. Especially if you're shooting at all likes of this waterfall and you've got light coming in from the side, that's the point where you're gonna get a little bit of lens flare. Nothing more or less than you would have on any other lens though, so it's not a big issue just use the supplied lens hood. So a couple of things I've found with this lens, looking at it, it's an all metal construction. It's really solid, quite weighty in the hand actually, which is really nice. And as you can see, this is on my uh, Sony a7R2 and it's just nicely balanced. There's, it doesn't fall forward, it doesn't fall back, it doesn't feel overly heavy. It just really complements the camera really quite well. And as you can see, it's a really small form factor. Lovely little focusing ring on it and aperture control on there. It's clickable aperture control all the way up, which is fantastic. And the, as I say, the, the focus ring is so smooth, really, really nice to use, a pleasure to use actually. And overall, I just really like using the lens. Because it's so small, it's really nice to have a lens that doesn't take up too much weight and you can just carry around. It's really nice for that. Really good for emphasizing subjects as well. I mean, I've, I've found this branch here. And it's a fallen branch on the ground and I think it's gonna work quite well because you're gonna get that drawn in sort of feel with a, with a lens that's about 15 millimeters. It's gonna draw you into the frame. So I'm gonna have a quick play with this and see what I can frame up. Looking at it though, I think it's probably gonna work best as a portrait orientation shot, maybe a square crop even. But I'll have a little play with it and just sort of give you an idea of the kind of images you can produce with this. Mm -hmm. 